After all the publicity, all the haggling, the uproar and the bans, the start of the Packer series in Adelaide today was a fizzer. The players took the field in front of only 500 spectators, leaving the stadium all but deserted. It was hardly an auspicious start to the much heralded multi-million dollar cricket revolution. But as far as the cricketers themselves were concerned, today was something special, despite the turnout. Opening batsman for the World Eleven, Dennis Amos. I'm very pleased with the, the first couple of hours workout. But uh, because it's a Packer match, does it feel any different from any of the other big matches you've played in? Well, obviously, we've got a few Australians, um, South Africans and English players in the side and Pakistanis, but obviously everybody wants to do well. We, bowlers want to take a few wickets, we want to score a few runs, and if we, if we can win, we're well and good. For the first time we are playing in a, in a different kind of cricketing setup, and all of us are trying to do well. Um, you know, there are going to be some selections very shortly for World 11s and so forth, and um, a lot of prize money on those games, so there certainly is no playing out there. Every one of us is trying our hardest to produce some goods. If you get in early, get some runs, you know, it could all go well for the rest of the season. So there certainly is a lot in this game, especially for, for the fellows playing at the moment. And that's the name of the Packard game, money. More money for the players and, of course, more money for Mr Packard. But on today's gate takings, the World Series cricket entrepreneur wouldn't have made a cracker. In fact, he'd be well on his way to amassing that $2 million loss he's expected to make in the next year. Today's turnout, though, didn't worry the director of the series, Austin Robertson. Well, Bill, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I think probably Saturday and Sunday will tell the tale a little bit better as far as crowd's concerned. I think you've got to remember that this is just virtually a practice match. There's not a lot hinging on it. And while the uh, competition, I think, is, uh, is keen enough, uh, one can't say that, uh, you know, we're not really worried by the, the fact that there are only 500 people here today. Adelaide are notorious for being very patriotic to any sort of thing, and uh, to get them away from somewhere that's been traditional is very, going to be hard, especially here. And I'm delighted, really, with the crowd. I think it's a bigger crowd than uh, what the board have probably had at any of their state games so far, or even the international game against India. So, um, you know, it's a Thursday morning, so... We have to be happy with what's here, I think. But like it or not, these cricketers are more than just players. They're performers. And they'll have to satisfy not only Packers' pleasure, but ratings as well. Whether that will change their style, who knows? But the cricket stage has been taken out of the grandstand and is well and truly into the living room. Whether it will last will depend on crowds. And Kerry Packer must be hoping for a better showing in the future than today's.